Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, Our Hope of Glory. And it is taken from Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 through 21. The Apostle Paul writes, Whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible, I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus had, has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us who are mature think this way. And if anything you think otherwise, God will, will reveal that also to you. Only let us hold true to what we have attained. Brothers, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. For many of whom I have often told you and now tell you, even with tears, walk as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their belly. And their glory, and they glory in their shame, with minds set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power that enables him even to subject all things to himself. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 11, it is written that God has put eternity in man's heart. Therefore, every human being has received an existence that cannot be destroyed. However, the big question is, if the life that we've received from God, the eternal life, will be lived with him or without him. As Christians, we've received the blessed opportunity to live with God through the forgiveness of sins and reconciliation with God that Christ has prepared for us. Paul clarifies that on account of this, we have received citizenship in heaven. There's a goal of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, a God waves the wages of victory right in front of us. Yet we're struggling each day to reach this goal. We have to forget what lies behind us. All of our failures and all of the things that we shamefully have admitted in our confessions. We have to throw it all off and leave it by the wayside. We don't have to drag it along with us. No, we can forget it because God himself has forgotten it. Paul wrote, Not that I have already obtained this, 
or am already perfect. You see, we're still living in an unbelieving world that doesn't want to serve Christ, a world that prefers to avoid every reminder of him and his kingdom. And we carry the disobedience of sin that lives in our bodies that prefers to be spared the constant chasing after of that goal. Yet, we know that our citizenship is in heaven. We know what the goal is. Thanks be to God, we await our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one who comes with the final, eternal, irrevocable salvation that consists of our being transformed. So we will become a part of the new creation. Yes, the old lowly body will be gone once and for all. The one that carries in it our inherited original sin and all of our resistance toward God. Instead, we'll be in the same image as the resurrected, a new kind of reality that Paul calls a glorious body. Therefore, our Christian hope for eternity can be described with these words, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Christ lives in those who believe in him, and because he lives in us, we know that we will live in him. We will also partake in his new life, the life of the resurrected, the glorious body. Our Christian hope is the hope of glory. Let us pray. Lord, who could possibly believe this without the gift of of your word if you hadn't risen from the dead if you our living lord hadn't come to us through your call and allowed us to see a glimpse of your glory help us to always see the goal in front of us and reach out to what lies ahead may your good word be fulfilled in us so we hurry on our way without giving up and travel on without becoming tired and if we do tire, Lord, carry us. Take us by the hand and lead us forward. Jesus, in your eternal name, we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.